चैप्टर सेवन टेम्परेचर एंड इट्स मेजरमेंट क्वेश्चन आंसर क्लास सिक्स सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेटस एनहांस आर लर्निंग क्वेश्चन वन द नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ हेल्दी ह्यूमन बींग इज क्लोज टू थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस सेकेंड थर्टी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस इज द सेम टेम्परेचर एज नाइन्टी एट पॉइंट सिक्स डिग्री फेर एन हाइट डेट इज फोर क्वेश्चन थ्री फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स फर्स्ट The hotness or coldness of a system is determined by its temperature. Second, the temperature of ice cold water cannot be measured by a clinical thermometer. Third, the unit of temperature is degree Celsius. Fourth, the range of a laboratory thermometer is usually minus 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius. That is second. Question five. Four students used a laboratory thermometer to measure the temperature of water as shown in Figure 7.6. Student one, student two, student three, student four. What do you think followed the correct way for measuring temperature? Answer: In the given images, the correct way to measure the temperature using a laboratory thermometer is shown by student two. Student two has the thermometer vertically immersed in the water. without touching the sides or bottom of the beaker which is the correct method for measuring temperature with a laboratory thermometer question 6 color to show the red column on the drawings of thermometers figure 7.7 as per the temperatures written below answer so friends first is 14 degree celsius so let's move it up so here 14 Second, seventeen degree Celsius. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So here it is seventeen degree Celsius. Next, seven point five degree Celsius. So let's move it five, then six, then seven, and seven point five. This one is seven point five. So friends, you can mark the temperatures in your book or notebook. Question seven. Observe the part of thermometer shown in Figure 7.8 and answer the following questions. First, what type of thermometer is it? Answer: This is a laboratory thermometer characterized by its long, narrow tube and a scale that typically ranges beyond the human body temperature range. Second, what is the reading of the thermometer? Answer: The thermometer reading is 15.4 degrees Celsius. This is determined by noting the level of the red liquid column which is slightly above the 15 degree celsius mark with four small divisions each representing 0.1 degree celsius above it. Third, what is the smallest value that this thermometer can measure? Answer: The smallest value that this thermometer can measure is minus 10 degree celsius. The small divisions between the larger degree markings Each representing 0.1 degree Celsius. Question eight: A laboratory thermometer is not used to measure our body temperature. Give a reason. Answer: A laboratory thermometer is not used to measure our body temperature because it is designed to measure temperatures over a broader range and must be kept upright, making it inconvenient and potentially unsafe for measuring body temperature. Question nine. Vaishnavi has not gone to school as she is ill. Her mother has kept a record of her body temperature for three days, as shown in Table 7.4. Table 7.4, body temperature record of Vaishnavi. Question one: What was Vaishnavi's highest recorded temperature? Answer: Vaishnavi's highest recorded temperature was 40 degrees Celsius. Second: On which day and at what time was Vaishnavi's highest temperature recorded? Answer: Vaishnavi's highest temperature was recorded on day one at 7 p.m. Third, on which day did Vaishnavi's temperature return to normal? Answer: Vaishnavi's temperature returned to normal on day three. Question ten: If you have to measure the temperature 22.5 degrees Celsius, which of the following three thermometers will you use? Figure 7.9. Explain. Figure 7.9. Three thermometers. A, B, and C. To measure the temperature of 22.5 degrees Celsius, we need to select a thermometer that can accurately read this temperature, observing each thermometer. 
thermometer A. This thermometer has a range from 0 degree Celsius to 30 degree Celsius with divisions that allow for precise measurements, but it does not have enough resolution to read 0.5 degree Celsius intervals clearly. Thermometer D. This thermometer has a range from minus 10 degree Celsius to 50 degree Celsius and has divisions that indicate smaller intervals, possibly 0.2 degree Celsius or 0.1 degree Celsius. It seems to have a finer scale and can accurately measure 22.5 degrees Celsius. Thermometer C. This thermometer has a range from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius and has even finer divisions, which can accurately measure 22.5 degrees Celsius. Conclusion. Thermometer C is the best choice because it has a wider range and finer divisions allowing for precise readings including 22.5 degrees Celsius. Thermometer C allows for the precise measurement of 0.5 degrees Celsius intervals, making it suitable for accurately determining a temperature of 22.5 degrees Celsius. Question 11. The temperature shown by the thermometer in figure 7.10 is Answer. Second, 27.5 degrees Celsius. So friends, this is 25. 25.5, 26, 27 and 27.5. This one. Question 12. A laboratory thermometer has 50 divisions between 0 degree Celsius and 100 degree Celsius. What does each division of this thermometer measure? Answer. A laboratory thermometer with 50 divisions between 0 degree Celsius and 100 degree Celsius means each division represents a specific temperature increment to determine the value of each division, divide the total temperature range by the number of divisions. Here the range is 100 degree Celsius from 0 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius and there are 50 divisions. Therefore, each division measures value of each division is equal to 100 degree Celsius divided by 50 is equal to 2 degree Celsius. Thus, each division on this laboratory thermometer represents 2 degree Celsius. This allows for measurements to be read with an accuracy of 2 degree Celsius increments. Question 13. Draw the scale of a thermometer in which the smallest division reads 0.5 degree Celsius. You may draw only the portion between 10 degree Celsius to 20 degree Celsius. Answer. So friends, this is the thermometer with smallest divisions which reads 0.5 degree Celsius. So you can draw this figure accordingly. Question 14. Someone tells you that she has a fever of 101 degrees. Does she mean it on the Celsius scale or Fahrenheit scale? Answer. If someone tells me that she has a fever of 101 degrees, she means it on the Fahrenheit scale. A body temperature of 101 degrees Fahrenheit indicates a fever as the normal human body temperature is approximately 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. In Celsius, 101 degrees would be extremely high and life threatening since normal body temperature is around 37 degree Celsius and 101 degree Celsius is far beyond human tolerance. Therefore, it is clear that the fever is being referred to in Fahrenheit. Friends, we have completed all the question answers from the chapter. Thank you for watching.